assalamu alaikum uh, i hope you all will be fine and doing well with your learning let's move on to the course work of plasma physics 2 today we will try to have an idea of the single fluid mht equations uh, well you can find this uh, topic from the francis chen's book plasma physics and control fusion in the chapter number 5 and paragraph number 5.7 all right mht uh, mht here means magneto hydrodynamic equations where the word magneto mean magnetic hydro mean liquid and dynamic mean in motion um, a magneto hydrodynamic equation is also known as the single fluid mhd equations or the one fluid approximations actually in a plasma when the density is very high or the plasma is very dense then instead of speaking about the individual electron proton dust particle or any other charge particle in your plasma system we will be dealing uh, with the plasma as a single fluid uh, i mean uh, in uh, this situation instead of the individual motion of electron proton or the dust particle we will be treating plasma as a as a whole as a single fluid where all the uh, this one single fluid will be representing the motion of all the individual particles inside the plasma system so that's why mhd is also known as the single fluid or one fluid approximation it means individual particle are no uh, no more of uh, concern to uh, us when we are dealing with the mhd equation but instead of individual particles we uh, will be interesting in the uh, uh, motion of the plasma or the motion of the plasma fluid as a whole example of such uh, magneto fluid include plasma liquids metal salt water and electrolytes etc here uh, the the field of mhd was initiated by uh, a well known famous scientist uh, hains alvan for which he got the nobel prize in physics in 1970 actually uh, the fundamental concept or the basically the idea behind mhd is that magnetic fields can induce currents in a moving conducting fluid and you know that these currents can polarize the fluids which in turn can change the magnetic field so in short we can say that the magnet magneto hydrodynamic model is used to study the magnetic properties and behavior of the electrically electrically conducting fluids uh, the uh, equations basic set mhd set of equation include the navier stokes equation or the fluid equation and you know the fluid equations in, include continuity equation the momentum equation the poisson's equation etc along with the maxwell equations and these uh, fluid and the maxwell equations should be coupled or solved together uh, either numerically or analytically mhd is related to the problem uh, of diffusion as well because uh, as i told you that mhd deals with the very dense plasma system or very high density plasma system and i told you in my yesterday's lecture in the plasma resistivity that when the density is very high or the plasma is very dense then in this situation the, uh, the collision between two unlike particles give us to the diffusion and uh, and we have calculated the resistivity etc over there and and uh, i believe you also know that the dissipative or the collisional term contains the difference in the velocities of two fluids i mean if we speak about the electron positron electron proton plasma then uh, pei uh, you know is proportional to ve bi minus ve which is simply the linear combination of the ion and electron uh, fluid velocities it means that instead of the uh, individual electron or the proton velocities separately we can have a linear combination of the electron and i electro uh, of the ion and electron velocities such that vi minus ve rather than the individual velocities vi or ve separately and then uh, the equations uh, mhd equations which we obtain at the end of my lecture uh, is will we will show that this is a, will, these equations will be linear combination of uh, the plasma as a single fluid with a mass density rho and electrical conductivity 1 over eta here uh, this is the mhd simulation of the solar wind which is coming from the sun's atmosphere uh, surface and here you can see that this is some torus magnetic confinement machine uh, where the theoreticians working with the uh, fusion devices uh, you follow this mhd set of equations now uh, well another very basic or the uh, 
concern question is when these ideal MHD equations is can be applied or what are the conditions which we must take into account while dealing with the MHD equations. So uh, number one, first of all, uh, as I told you that MHD is concerned with a very dense plasma system, it means collisions will become very important for such systems. So uh, while considering M ideal MHD model, we must assume for, or we must take into account that the plasma is strongly collisional in such a manner that the collisional time scale of this collisional or the collisional uh, time scale should be shorter than any other time scale involved in your plasma system and the particle distribution function we will be assuming of the uh, will be of the type of the maxwellian distribution and uh, and you know that the maxwellian distribution mean particles are distributed with respect to their thermal velocities uh, i have to explain to you in detail uh, in the semester one and the second condition uh, which we must take into account while dealing with the mhd plasmas is the resistivity as the plasma is collisional or we are considering the collisions frequent collisions between the uh, different plasma particles and then we assume that the resistivity uh, due to these collision is very small it means we are considering the uh, superconductor or the ideal conductor uh, having the resistivity almost zero or negligible the third condition which we must take into account while considering uh, dealing with the MHT plasma is that the uh, scale length which we choose or the scale length of, of, the, of the geometry of our plasma should be very, very large. Now, what does this term mean? Uh, you know, uh, generally that in the laboratory, when we are uh, measuring the length, we use, uh, usually use the uh, uh, units like meter centimeter kilometer etc but the astro astronomical people or the astronauts working with the astronomical objects uh, need a scale which should be much larger than this meter kilometer or miles and uh, for example when we are measuring the distance in the astrophysical space then instead of the uh, meter or the kilometer or the miles the length we measure in a very uh, large scale known as a parsec and uh, where one parsec is approximately equal to 3.1 into 10 power 13 kilometers it means that uh, three conditions we must take into account while dealing with the mhd model number one the plasma should be strongly collisional such that the time scale of the collision should be shorter than any other time scale in your system Number two, the resistivity should be very small, mean that we will be considering the super or the ideal conductors. And number three, the uh, length scale uh, of our system should be very, very large, like the length scale of the astronomy, astronomical objects uh, outside the solar system, for example, the parsec. Well, uh, this was uh, a short introdu introduction about the MHD equation, and uh, in, uh, in sh generally, we have uh, four type of MHD equations: and first, second, third, and fourth MHD equation. Uh, so let's drive uh, first MHD equation. We can very easily derive the uh, first MHD equation by using uh, the continuity equation. You know that this is the continuity equation for the electron where n is the number density of electron and b is the electron fluid velocity and here is the continuity equation for the ions with ni as the ion density and vi as the ion fluid velocity so how we can uh, because uh, as i told you that in mht we uh, are concerned only with a single fluid instead of the individual electron and the protons so how we can merge these two continuity equations to have single fluid equation is very simple if we just uh, multiply the electron continuity equation with the electron charge which you know is minus e and uh, if we multiply the ion continuity equation with the ion charge which you know is the plus e and then we obtain these two uh, set of equations. Now, if we uh, just add these equations, uh, like here, then we will obtain E and I minus E and E plus del dot, all this combination. When you know that E n is the surface charge density, whenever you multiply charge with the number density, this gives you the surface charge density. So if we suppose that uh, this total E and i the surface charge density of ions minus the surface charge density of the electron this total surface dense charge density we just suppose is sigma 
the service charge and still you know and you know also you know that uh, this uh, e and i generally the con uh, the current density j is defined as n e v and here if we just suppose that e n i v i e minus e n e v e for the uh, the total current density of both the fluids if we just say is j then uh, we will get this uh, single fluid first mhd equation in terms of the charge density so this is your first mhd equation now in order to derive the second mhd equation again we will make use of the uh, continuity equations here this is the continuity equation for the electron and here is the continuity equation for the ions if i just multiply the continuity of uh, equation of the electron with the uh, ma electron mass me and similarly if we multiply this ion continuity equation with the ion mass we will obtain these two new continuity equations expressed here if we just add these two equations then uh, we will be having such expression mene plus minie plus del dot meneve -E and plus minive -E is equal to zero where you know that MENE -E or the MN is the mass density generally so MENE -E we, we can write as rho e and this is rho i plus here again this is rho i v i and plus rho e v e equals to zero and if we just suppose that uh, the total den mass density is equal to rho e plus rho i and the total flux density rho v is equal to rho i v i plus rho e v e then we will have this second mhd equation here you can see that instead of the single uh, uh, instead of the electron and the proton uh, mass densities individually we do have a total mass density of the electron and the protons and the total flux density of the electron and proton this is the second mhd equation uh, and this all equation is also known as the mhd equation in the form of the mass density the first mhd equation was uh, in the form of the charge density uh, well, I think so. Uh, I'm uh, stopping here. If uh, just learn about generally the MHD and the derivation of the first two MHD equation in the next lecture, I will be driving the next third and the fourth MHD equation. And if we just speak generally speak about the applications of the MHD equation, so uh, we can see that uh, here uh, this is the MHD example of the sun. Uh, sun is an example of the MHD system and the application of the MHD includes astrophysicists working in the costo, cosmic electrodynamics and similarly the people working with the MHD energy conservation make use of the MHD set of equations and the uh, uh, fusion theorists working with complicated magnetic geometries make use of the uh, MHD uh, model or the one fluid set of equations good luck with your learning